Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from the BitcoinPodcast.com here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today I'm here to talk about episode 126 of the Bitcoin Podcast, Litecoin's SegWit Activation. Oh, snap. Did you see that we got Charlie Lee at Satoshi Light? creator of litecoin in the house because we did that's a thing it happened on the bitcoin podcast yep uh cory and cello interviewed um charlie lee at satoshi light the creator of litecoin the freaking creator of litecoin um and asked him about uh segwit and the future for litecoin and uh it this episode was awesome uh the interview was amazing um if you haven't seen it a bajillion or haven't seen it heh, it's uh audio so if you haven't heard it um a ton of spoilers are are here for you so why don't you go down to the info box uh click on the link below uh listen to the interview and come on back and we can chat about it all right all right okay welcome back <laughs> or uh maybe you already listened to the episode and now you're here but um, yeah, dude, so uh, Corey and Cello interviewing uh, Charlie Lee of uh, Litecoin and uh, Coinbase and, um, you know, so much. The guy's been in the space forever. Um, so, yeah, it starts off with uh, Corey and uh, Cello asking about, like, um, you know, the uh, scaling situation. Uh, you know, Litecoin doesn't have a problem with scaling, but that's because Litecoin's been boring for the past three years. Now all of a sudden you you know activate SegWit and all this attention comes to Litecoin and you know what's the deal? You have a you know a plan for all of this you know attention and uh, Charlie Lee is pretty confident that they can handle pretty much anything that's going to be coming their way realistically. Um, you know if Litecoin has a scaling issue anytime soon. Uh, yay for Litecoin, you know what I mean? So, but, um, yeah, he's pretty confident in the long run by the time it happens, you know, that's going to be taken care of. Uh, you know, the future for Litecoin from here, uh, with SegWit, uh, gives them the possibility to do, um, you know, um, Lightning, Lightning Network. So that's, you know, that's the next step for, um, you know, Litecoin, they're going to try and get everything running over with that. And the next step after that would be, um, you know, confidential transactions, you know, where you have a option to, you know, keep your transactions discreet, thanks to SegWit and Lightning Network and everything that SegWit brings. Um, also, the fact I, I there's so much to learn in this episode, it's insane. I'm telling you guys, if you didn't listen to it, click the link below, go listen come back because I'm super power phrasing and I'm not doing it as much justice but totally just a recap on it um, so Corey and Charlie were talking about uh, SegWit and one of the things that it brings to the table that isn't ever freaking mentioned is um, you know cross blockchain communications sort of um, like a super shape shift if you will so that's freaking awesome. Like, I, I don't know. That wasn't really something that was highlighted during this whole political scaling or uh, political uh, SegWit debate where um, between uh, Bitcoin Unlimited and Bitcoin Classic and, you know, SegWit and some of the things that just weren't brought up during the entire debate and still isn't uh, is that. So that is awesome that you could, you know, hold Bitcoin and or Ethereum or Litecoin and do things that would require you using Ethereum that you would just send Litecoin to do. I, it's awesome. Like the whole, the whole thought of, you know, cross blockchain communications via like SegWit's, uh, that's just amazing to me. That that that's not something that's been discussed more. So I'm totally going to be looking more into that. And uh, that is just. That just blew my mind there. And then the next thing, um, you know, Charlie Lee is also involved in Coinbase. So, you know, we the, the, the guys were asking him, you know, what's going on with Coinbase? What's next? You know, these guys over there are basically an exchange. What's the next step? And uh, yeah, that um, token 
application uh, that Coinbase is doing on the Ethereum network is like the WeChat of Ethereum. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, imagine a WeChat or a um, Telegram type application where you can conversate, but where you can also transact Ethereum. It's an Ethereum wallet chat application. Dope. So I'm going to be doing a video on that next. I already downloaded the application. It's very plain. Um, it's obviously new. It's it's still in, I guess, beta stages. It's very vanilla. There's not much uh, going on. Probably going to be a short video. But uh, it is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it's an Ethereum wallet that is also a chat application. So if you're sending funds back and forth, talking to your friends, blah, 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 that's going to be... And that's on-ramping. You know, it's it's an encrypted convo. It's using uh, blockchain technology. It's it's one more room for uh, people to walk into, stumble into, and fall into uh, the rabbit hole that we all fell into. You know, um, this crypto rabbit hole. So yeah, I think the token Ethereum WeChat application is going to be epic. I'll, I'll be on there. Um, my username, uh, actually, I got to figure all that out. So in the video I make for that, um, yeah, I'll give out my username and we could all chat on token. Uh, maybe I'll give out some Ethereum or something. We'll figure it out. Anyway, dude, the end back to the interview. So, uh, we had Charlie Lee and, um, you know, we kept picking in the guy's brain about like everything. Uh, we were asking him, you know, Oh, I he was he was talking about like uh, Bitcoin every time Litecoin came up, like everything he was doing for Litecoin. He had, you know, Bitcoin in mind. If 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 Segwit works on Litecoin and 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 Litecoin integrates with the Lightning Network and that works and then they can do all these things where they have the the uh, confidential transactions. They have the, uh, you know, cross blockchain capabilities. They if all this works for Litecoin it'll work for Bitcoin. But he also, and, and, and I respect Charlie Lee for this, he also said that, you know, the risks for Litecoin and, and be, you know, using SegWit may not balance. It may be, it may not be, you know, the best thing for Litecoin to use SegWit, you know, because of the unknown. Uh, we don't know why SegWit could really, um, what it what what negative impacts it could have you know uh, I, we've only been talking about the positives and that's that's respectable that he brought that up that it's not going to be just all friggin you know rainbows and unicorns over here uh, something could pop up and you know he's confident that they will be able to handle that and so am i i mean it's been three years uh they're they're probably dusting in, you know their keyboards off and getting ready to get back into the matrix and i'm excited for litecoin i really am and this interview really lit a fire under me to look more into uh what segwit has to offer and what you know um, downfalls it potentially has for a blockchain like Litecoin and potentially Bitcoin. Uh, I was, you know, blindly against Bitcoin Unlimited because I, I don't want to fork and I didn't really realize that there could be negative impacts to SegWit. I was always looking at the positive. So I'm going to, you know, get on my homework. Thanks, Charlie. Um, let's see, what else did they really cover? Oh, there was so much. I'm so not doing this interview justice, but I'm telling you guys, check it out. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it. I kind of really can't really uh, recall too much. I mean. I don't want to spoil too much if you haven't seen it. And if you have, hit me up on Facebook. Um, I'm really excited. You know, uh, you could learn a lot from this interview. I definitely took away a lot. I definitely learned about, um, you know, SegWit. Oh, dude, yeah, that's I was spaced out there. I was trying to recall what else I wanted to talk about. The um, They had talked to Charlie Lee about uh, ICOs and what he thinks of that whole, you know, ballpark. And... I'm with him on this. He's he was, you know, saying that it's going to implode, and I, that's why I haven't jumped into an ICO yet. Uh, I know there's tons of good, profitable, you know, ICOs that have done well, but there's also a lot more that haven't. And 
it's just it's a gamble within a gamble within a gamble you know um uh, i guess for example we got the gnosis or something i don't know but that's like on the ethereum network and and that ico is doing really well i think right now but still it's a it, it's on the ethereum network it's not its own so it's it's a it's a, it's a gamble on top of ethereum's gamble so and icos are just so sketchy and uh too rich for my blood usually so and i like that charlie lee said he's he doesn't mess with icos um you know he's not he doesn't really think that they're going to last long and this you know the space is going to implode and i'm happy i never got into one because i agree with him especially on that i don't know man interview was amazing uh cory uh cello you guys did an amazing job uh charlie lee you crushed it um Corey was asking, <laughs> Corey, oh man, Corey and Cello, man, y'all, uh, y'all really, um, gave it to Charlie, Charlie really, uh, handled answering every question very well, um, it was an all-around great episode, I hope you guys enjoyed my little breakdown, um, this is new, so hopefully they get better as I go. I'm going to try to do a recap of every Bitcoin podcast episode, give you a little bit of feedback of what I thought of the episode and what I took away from it. And um, yeah, if you like this episode, please thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down. Uh, tap that subscribe button. Uh, flick the uh, little alert bell so you get a notification every time, every time I uh, post a video. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, Hit like and share, and uh, don't forget to click the link in the description box below and listen to the episode 126, Litecoin's Segwit Activation, starring Charlie Lee. And um, yeah, big ups, big ups. Congrats, Litecoin, on Segwit. And uh, hey, guys, have a day.